Runners at the two and a quarter mile start for the opening race of the day. The V is for Vintage Show, Maiden Hurdle. White flag raised, they're off. On the downhill run to the first flight, the leader is Theatre One, followed in second place by Sophie's World, with in third place Eyes Open Wide Awake, tracked by Lake Malawi in the light blue and yellow. As they clear the first flight, a very bad mistake towards the back by Bella the Butterfly, who went, Adrian Heskin, is quickly on his feet. Just to confirm, Bella the Butterfly, the first flight casualty. But Theatre One is out clear under Sean Flanagan, racing up the far side towards flight number two with Sophie's World, followed by Lake Malawi. Next in fourth place is Eyes Open Wide Awake, who's followed by Little Stampy and Universal Wren, and these are being followed over that flight by Atlantic Breaker. And hear the echo. The latest one to go, slithered on landing and Danny Mullins, and hear the echo, depart at the second flight. They're strung out, making the descent now towards the third. Theatre one out clear, followed by Sophie's World with Lake Malawi in third, and then eyes open wide awake, Little Stampy, Atlantic Breaker next on the inside of Universal Wren. Further down the field is Brady's Town being followed by Mountain Kingdom and Esherat, and a long way behind is Malika, clearing the first of the two flights. Before the straight, Theatre One, followed by Sophie's World, who's now within about five lengths, and these two remain clear of Lake Malawi with eyes open wide awake, followed into the straight the first time by Little Stampy, Atlantic Breaker, Mountain Kingdom and Universal Wren, and these are being followed by Brady's Town with Esherat pushed along, and reminders for Malika at the rear of the field. Theatre One comes back to Sophie's World, about three lengths now between them, and then a further six, seven lengths back to Lake Malawi with eyes open wide awake, little stampy and Atlantic breaker as they go to the flight past the stands number five. Theatre one leads Sophie's World with Lake Malawi, eyes open wide awake, Atlantic breaker has made a bit of ground, being followed by little stampy and then Esherath Mountain Kingdom, Universal Red next with Brady's Town and they're clear from Malika. Racing now past their starting point, they have four flights to jump and the V is for Vintage Show, Maiden Hurdle. Opening race of the day, Theatre One with Sophie's World now within a couple of lengths. They're five in front of Lake Malawi with eyes open wide awake. Atlantic Breaker, Little Stampy, trying to improve up to mid-division as Mountain Kingdom and then Esherath and Universal Wren in Brady's Town. Still well strung out now, they're on the run up the back straight to three flights from the finish. Theatre One, followed still by... Sophie's World with Lake Malawi a bit closer in third, then eyes open wide awake, Little Stampy, followed on the far side by Atlantic Breaker and then Mountain Kingdom, and these leaders are clear. Racing to the third last flight, Theatre One, Sean Flanagan, followed by Sophie's World, Dennis O'Regan, almost joined for second by Lake Malawi and Luke Dempsey, then eyes open wide awake with Little Stampy, Atlantic Breaker and Mountain Kingdom as the leaders now begin to tighten up. Racing towards the five furlong point, a good run to the second last. Theatre One, Lake Malawi on the inside of Eyes Open Wide Awake as Sophie's World drops back. Then Atlantic Breaker Mountain Kingdom continues to make headway and then comes Little Stampy. Half a mile left to go and two to jump. Theatre One with Lake Malawi gone second. Eyes Open Wide Awake is pushed along in third as Atlantic Breaker moves fourth. And then three to four lengths back to Mountain Kingdom with Little Stampy and Sophie's World has dropped tamely out. Coming towards the second last, Theatre One with now 
moving up on the outside to challenge Lake Malawi. Atlantic Breaker is closing as well over the second last now. And they're followed by Mountain Kingdom. Eyes open wide awake. Little Stampy want to jump. And Lake Malawi comes up strongly between horses to just lead. Atlantic Breaker on the near side now with a challenge. And then Mountain Kingdom as Theatre One. Slips after that flight as they come into the straight now. And it's on the rail. Lake Malawi and Atlantic Breaker on the near side. Followed by Mountain Kingdom and Little Stampy. Racing up now towards the finish. And there's little to choose between Lake Malawi on the rail and Atlantic Breaker on the near side. As they go close home. Lake Malawi on the inside. Lake Malawi, a good second last time, has won here. In second place is Atlantic Breaker, the Little Stampy Mountain Kingdom. Eyes open, wide awake next. And looking back to the final flight, Sean Flanagan is up. Not so Theatre One after their last flight fall. Result of the first race, the Vias for Vintage Show Maiden Hurdle. Six, three, one. Number seven was fourth, number five was fifth, and number two was sixth. Six, three, one, seven, five from two. The distances in the first race were a half a length, seven lengths, six and a half lengths, 11 lengths, and 44 lengths. That's a half a length, seven lengths, six and a half lengths, 11 lengths, and 44 lengths. And the time taken was four minutes and 37.1 seconds. 4.37.1.